Good day, everybody. Thank you for joining me today. It's a beautiful Monday morning here in Hudson Bay. It's like minus five degrees Celsius here. Very nice. But I came back. I'm going for a walk through uh, part of our property. We don't come too much, but I uh, came through the hazelnut trail back into what we call the Christmas tree area. Just because there's a ton. There's literally thousands of all the spruce trees. Um... This is all these back here. I, there's literally, and all up in front of me too, there's literally thousands. I want to take a couple hundred of these and move them to the other side of our property where we don't have a whole bunch of trees. Right by our pond, I like to put a whole row of trees there as kind of like a wind block because it'll help uh, the blowing snow through the fields. Um, so it'll help me get back to the fields when we have a rough winter. Hopefully it'll help out that way. Some around the house and then some in other spots of the bush. I'd like to transplant some of these. Um, and for like, if you see how dense this gets, if I start taking some out, it'll allow some of the other ones to actually grow more. So it'll be beneficial also. But uh, yeah, I'm thinking about uh, removing some of these and moving them to uh, other spots of the house. I'm also back here because I'm scoping out. I want to see on our maps where the edge of our property is back here in the corner. And we want to start doing a trail through here. So that's another reason why I'm back here. We're going to start on a trail here soon. I'm going to, my one neighbor is going to help me do it. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we can get it done this year. Right through this whole one side of our property. It's pretty dense. So there's going to be a lot of uh, brush clearing and trees. There's a lot of dead ones back here. It's insane how much uh, dead is actually back here. We're going to have to bring the four-wheelers and stuff back here and start yanking out logs. We're going to have to cut them up and uh, you, at least we'll have lots of firewood. So that's going to be a major job here very soon. I may need to try to find a log trailer or something. And start loading them and i can just pull them out easier that way but uh yeah that's that's my plan is to start scoping out the edge of the properties and uh start marking out areas where i want to put the trails so i'll get lots of footage for you and you guys can uh it's beautiful back here so you guys can see some of the beauty and uh enjoy it i might actually bring my trail cam back in this area i've never done it i don't think dad's ever had his trail cam back here so I may bring it back here. There's a couple nice trails. I'm going to put it up there. There's a couple of little pinch points where the trails meet. So I may put one there. So yeah, I think I'll do that. <laughs> See, then you come up on areas like this. Well, there's so many little tiny, tiny ones. I mean, I come back here when it's spring, when the ground's soft, and just dig these up no problem, and then just transplant them. There's so many of them. It's just interesting back here. It's just awesome to see. And then you come back and you see spots like this where there's been a deer rub on that tree. None of these ones all here, he's gone in there to rub. So it's pretty interesting. 
I, I've only been back here like twice actually in this bush <clears throat> maybe three times but not not much at all it gets very dense it's pretty hard to walk through um, definitely in the summertime it's uh, very very full Then you come up the spots, it just beyond the bush here. It's uh, it's a wet area. How wet it gets, I'm not sure, but we have to try to get a trail through some of this. Look at the size of that tree. That's a big one. And this one here is pretty much dying off now. But we can't get anything like that out unless we get a whole bunch of other trees cut up and dragged down here to make room to take stuff like this out. Because a tree like that, you could actually put on a mill. And like a few few of the other ones that are back there, they're very, very straight, pretty solid logs there. So, I mean, you can put those on a mill, make some lumber.